All right. We're going another night here. The two nights in a row doing uh, peppers the other day. Um, wanted to get some stuff done today, which I did. Uh, I had these dropped off for me. If I can pull one out here. A cayenne pepper. I had one after my lunch today and work. So, I read there were 30,000 30, to 50,000 Scoville units and handle that no problem. I mean, chewing I thought, I liked the taste of that one. So, I didn't do a review on that one. But, not too, I'm not as prepared as, I have celery, but... I was just glad that the other day, I think that was my fourth time in the years I've been growing the Red Ghost Scorpion, the Jay's Red Ghost Scorpion, that I finally did one with out chase and I went the whole distance. So I was like, I was really surprised there. Well, anyway, uh, stuff outside. My tomatoes, cucumbers, and that's all whittling down to nothing. I got to clean that out Saturday. The pepper plants, that's another story, though. So I got like half my sauce already uh, jarred up that I made from the peppers that I have uh, for Festival October. I think it's 5th or 6th out in New Tripoli, Pennsylvania. It's about, I'd say, about 20, 25 miles from here. So I'll be selling some of my stuff there. Use the money, put it towards our cruise we want to go to next year. But anyway, uh, learn how to talk a little more about, you know, all kinds of, you know, crap out there. But um, I got a pepper tonight I'm going to do. That is a VV7 Scorpion. I did this one last year, but I thought it's getting harder and harder every year. It seems like every time you do this, it gets harder. Considering, well, now four years go by and I was able to do the Red Ghost Scorpion. Go figure. So anyway, we're going to do this one tonight. I'm wondering if that's a floral smell. Oh, man. Cut this one out. I gotta watch. If you go bathroom. Ugh. So, um. And I've been keeping seeds out of these. So that's what we're gonna work on now. seeds in this. These grew nice. I mean, when I planted the seeds from these, these came up and I thought, the only difference is These last year did not look like this. I kid you not. They got like a mustard color to them. Why are they this color this year? I have no idea. I mean, I have them next to some big black mamas, so-called. Troy Primo, who I'm um, friends with in the chili world, had said that 
they are not big black mamas, but I've seen pictures where I went on the internet, and I'm thinking, yes, they could be big black mamas, or no, they can't be big black mamas. So I just call them big black mamas anyway, because my friend Rick Ademchik up north, he grew them from seed last year, gave me the plants, told me what they were, I got them, I thought, well, they're black. But I seen pictures where there were a lot of like wrinkles and warty and I have another one I grew which is different from them. So I'm thinking maybe that's the real deal. But anyway. Maybe it's getting because it's getting late. It's what? Uh, almost close to 8.30. So anyway. I'm going to eat this pepper tonight. I did this, like I said, I did this last year. It's hot. I handled it pretty good. And pepper's been working on me a little more this year. Uh, more bathroom breaks the next day. But I still, I come back because I like, like doing this. It's just... People think I'm, you know, but, you know, this is what I like to do. So, let's see what I can do without, uh, if I have to chase it or not. I guess we'll only see. I got to go out to the farm and, you know, do some with my one friend out there, uh, Mike Miller. His farm, I got some growing, but anyway, nice size pepper. Uh, heat's, heat's coming on now, right in the back of the throat. <sighs> no sweet taste there. Maybe a little red. Am I saying uh, I do this because I like to do it? I'm told I'll live to be long, an old age doing this too. Ooh, I feel it in my gums with my teeth. Ooh. See how good I sleep tonight. Like I said, feel it in the back of my throat.
any oil on that. Seems like it's coming on more. Woo! Getting a rush right now. Woo! My size pepper. Grudish from seed. A little bit of a rush. Approaching four minutes. We're in a Bowers Pepper Festival. It's Friday and Saturday. Uh, Nutripoli, Pennsylvania. Not Nutripoli, Bowers, Pennsylvania. Yeah, Nutripoli. Um, Look forward to that every year. It's like the 24th one. I think we've been going the last six of them. Yeah, what a rush. Like I said, I'm. Some I've eaten have, have like a sweet, uh, like a sweet taste. That's that's there. <coughs> this one didn't. I'm making powder out of these. Besides giving some out, the VV sevens and the uh, big black mamas. Oh, hiccups. Woo. And like I said in the past, doing this a while, so many years, never got sick. It's actually coming down now. So, I said Bowers Pepper Chili Pepper Festival this weekend. Anyone watching this? It's in the Pennsylvania area or New Jersey, Western New Jersey. It's 6 a.m. in the morning to. It's like six o'clock in the evening, both days. But uh, I usually go up to every stand and ask them, "What's your hottest that you have here?" They point to it, and I do it. But um, yeah, if you're around this way, come on out to it. You may even see me out there. But, uh, 
Yeah, it's coming down. Blew my nose a little bit. It's really clears me out. Like I said, I got a slight rush there. I like doing it because of that, too. But, um... If you can, tell your friends about the videos. I have about 13 of them up. This might be the 13th or 14th one. Tell your friends about it. Subscribe to it. That way when you see... When I... Not see, but when I do a video and put it on, it'll pop up. I have my name, the Pepperman. My real name, Rick Rogers. Subscribe to it. So I can be one of those crazy, fiery pepper eaters, which I've come to do. So, tell you what, we're going to cut this off. I may do a couple more this year yet. I'm getting the end of the year. It's, it's not only beginning of September, but time will go. So anyway... Once again, thank you for watching. Give my vi give my videos a like, subscribe. Until next time, this is a Pepperman. Peace.